there's a dangerous misconception when it comes to depression that um, depression means that you're sad, but that's not actually the case. Sadness is a response of emotion. It could be anything from losing a loved one to getting like a terrible haircut. You're being acted upon by something external and your response is that specific emotion, sadness. Whereas depression is not responsive. Uh, depression is a chemical imbalance. It's usually caused by nothing in particular and it's more cyclical, meaning it can return at any time intermittently and it's not caused by any form of like emotional agitation. If we look at it in terms of like physics, uh, sadness would be the force in inertia that acts upon an object that causes it to slow down or speed up. Depression is more like a black hole. Uh, it sucks everything in and crushes it. It's really difficult to understand. There's a lot of mystery to it and really only can be explained um, by people who have experienced it and to other people who are experiencing it. And that's even worse because if you're experiencing it and you're trying to explain it to people while you're being crushed by this black hole, you don't really have the energy to properly articulate your thoughts. This is usually why mental issues are treated as less severe than physical ones. If you have cancer, for instance, they can see that on the scan. There's, there's a physicality to it. Um, but depression, while it does have physical attributes to it that manifest, usually those are very trivial things. And so when people see the, the physical symptoms, they often want to treat that instead of the root cause of it, which is the depression. So they'll, they'll do things and ask questions that are really condescending and that's actually more harmful to people with depression because you exacerbate the situation by making them feel smaller. They already feel small and they already they understand the situation that um, there's no reason really to be depressed. That's literally what depression is, that there isn't a reason and so there is no there's no fixing it, if that makes sense. Don't don't tell them to get over it. First and foremost, that is such an insulting thing to say to somebody who's dealing with a mental issue to get over it. If they could get over it, wouldn't they? Obviously no one would choose to continue to live in that capacity if they could make that decision. It's not about making a decision, it's about having a chemical imbalance in your brain that you have no control over. When it came to anxiety and depression, the scariest thing for me was not understanding it, that it was casting a very big shadow because of the perspective of the light that was being shined on it, that it seemed like it was much bigger than it was. There was about a two year period where I was having panic attacks multiple times a day, every single day. Um, and I remember thinking, I literally cannot imagine a life without this. I cannot see me living my life without fear controlling me. I, I, I couldn't see it. It was impossible for me to even grasp that concept because I was so afraid, so crippled by my own fear that it was hopeless. I had completely given up. I, I just assumed this is the rest of my life. This is how I'm going to live the rest of my life now. I'm going to, to die young and miserable and this is it. Know that your feeling of hopelessness is not the truth. Um, as real and as raw as that feels to you right now, your hopelessness is not the end. It doesn't have to be. There are ways that you can get help. There are ways that you can change. And it doesn't have to rule you. It doesn't have to rule your life. It doesn't rule my life anymore. I'm, I'm happy. So if you're feeling that hopelessness right now, just know that you're not alone, that tons of people are feeling that, and that it's valid, it's real, because uh, I know what it feels like to feel completely alone and be stuck, you know, in your own head internalizing everything, and that's, for somebody who deals with anxiety and depression, internalizing things is one of the worst things that you can do. So, um, open your mouth and speak about it, and it takes a lot of that power away, almost like that the Voldemort illusion, you know, that he who must not be named, it makes him scarier than he is. You need to have a dialogue going with somebody, some kind of discussion about it because you cannot internalize these things by yourself. You just can't do it.
But your hopelessness isn't the truth. It's not. It's not the truth. This isn't the end. Um, don't make it the end. You're worth way too much for this to be the end. <laughs>